Good morning. Uh, welcome back. So uh, Trent Howerton again. Um, I do insurance. This is Insurance Insights for North Carolina. Uh, by now, you should know my videos don't have the glitz, the glam, the music, the breakaways and the comebacks and the countdowns. Like to me, all that stuff's a waste. I like to get in, shoot the video and get on with my life because you want to get in, watch the video and get on with yours. Today, I'm talking to you about preparing for the North Carolina property casualty and life exams. I know I could probably break this into three videos and create three different sets of content, but that's a waste of your time and a waste of mine. I'm going to start with life insurance. I'm getting ready to take my test tomorrow for life insurance. And I studied and have been studying for the life insurance exam uh, through the Rendleman Company uh, in North Carolina. They, they give you a really great book. There's tons of information in it. I mean, you can see the highlights that I've got in there. Um, what I did was sign up for the three day class. I believe the location was in Greensboro, but there are multiple locations you can take it. Go to the class. Holy cow. There's so much, um, so many little finite details with life insurance that I, I wasn't aware of. Right. I thought it was just whole and term and maybe universal, um, but they cover all sorts of topics in there. The instructor cadre is phenomenal. They're really, really great at their job. Super knowledgeable. I mean, they bounce around this book front to back sideways. They answer questions off the cuff. The answers are dead right. They're spot on. Highly, highly, highly recommend going to the rental company for your life uh, insurance. Uh, license. Now, when you leave that class and they tell you in there, if you score on the practice test like high 80s or 90s, the next day you need to be taking your test for the state, right? And, and here's the reason why. When you get to your agency or if you're going to work for, you know, a larger company, you may only focus on term or whole. You know what I mean? The company that, that, that you sell in uh, life insurance for may not have annuity access. They may not have uh, endowments and things. They may only have whole and term. So some of the stuff in here you might not use again, right? And it changes so frequently. Um, the information really may not be applicable five years down the road. So rent them a company, look them up. There are others out there. I know you can do this online. If you're an online person then do it online this is just my experience and they're not they're not paying me nothing this isn't an advertisement for them it's just my experience okay moving on from life let's go to pnc pnc i went through uh agent's choice online and they they send you the two books uh property and casualty um i really only read through the books maybe once because i had access to the online content um, and I really prefer the online piece. The way Agents Choice has their curriculum set up, it forces you to master the chapter before you move on to the next one. Like you, you have to take a test at the end of each module uh, before you're allowed to proceed. And it really holds you accountable. And I, and I enjoy that part of it. Uh, otherwise, you know, you just kind of breeze through these things sign up for the practice exam to get your test key and then go into the state and then you end up failing your state test multiple times. Doing it through the online piece, there's a 1200 minute uh, study requirement, which seems like a lot. But when you when you work on it, you know, a couple days here and there and you spread this thing out for a few weeks, it's really not that bad. Um, the best part of Agents Choice Online is the flashcards. You have to pay for it. It's twenty dollars. Not a big deal um, to most people, but I would highly recommend that. There are tons of flashcards available. Uh, you can drill down into a specific module that you might be having uh, some issues with, and you you just sit there and click through them. You know what I mean? It's you hold yourself accountable because you obviously you can look up the answer, but um, to find the ones that you don't do well. And then grab yourself a little notebook and I wrote down the question and the answer. If I kept getting it wrong, 
I would treat it like I did something bad in grade school. You know, I will not speak out of turn or whatever. I just wrote down the question and the answer over and over and over until finally it got through my head. The result of my PNC studies were passing the state exam on the first try for each license. I didn't fail either one. And I'm not bragging because I'm not brilliant. I'm not a brainiac. I'm a dumb old jarhead. I did 20 years in the Marine Corps, and now I'm doing insurance in North Carolina. And I was able to pass these tests on the first go. So if you want to know how to study, my recommendation, if you like to read, if you if you can learn through, you know, reading, read the books. If you're like me and you're more of a hands on um, type of deal and you need something that will help hold you accountable, then do the online piece. You, you can also sit in a classroom for your PNC. 100% you can sit in a classroom. But it's going to be, it's a lot, right? Everybody's heard of the fire hose effect. That's exactly what it is. You've got all this information crammed into, you know, a very short amount of time. And then that's it. Like, you know it while you're there. You'll take the test. You'll get the passing grade and they'll give you your, your key to go and take your exam, but then you can't schedule your exam for a week. And by the time it gets there, you've probably data dumped already. So that's my experience, folks. Uh, I wish everyone all the best on your on your exams, on your tests, on your studies. Uh, best thing I can tell you to do is find a way to hold yourself accountable. You've got to you've got to separate yourself from the rest of your life for an hour or two a day and really get in and read the material, write down what you get wrong, get the flashcards going, like really inundate yourself with this information so that once you get into the test, you don't have a problem with it. You click right through the answers, you're done, you pass, and you get that weight lifted off your shoulders. If you like what, you, what you're seeing on this video, please do me a favor, you know what it is. Click the like, click the follow, subscribe, whatever it is that you do. Because uh, I'm going to continue to post content on here that's applicable to people because it would have been applicable to me. Appreciate it. Thanks.